Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're taking another vehicle down our rally course. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to another episode of my rally series. We've been doing one of these every Wednesday for the last couple of months actually. Um, we've had multiple different vehicles go down the track now. And for those of you who are veterans to this series, you will know that the Lamborghini we took in the second episode is still our reigning champion. So I'm hoping today we are going to be able to beat the Lamborghini with this. It is the Mercedes Tank Pool Racing Truck, but it is the Forza Edition. Now, just before we get into upgrading the vehicle, I want to say if you are new to the uh, channel, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe if you do go on to enjoy the content. At the moment, I'm only making uh, sort of one video a week, which is my rally series. But this is actually the final video I'm going to be recording at university for this year until I return in September. Um, because in two days, I will actually be moving home again. So all my videos will take place from home. Hopefully the sound quality will be a bit better at home because I've got carpet and curtains and stuff that dampen everything. Um, but anyway... Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up um, that, yeah, at the moment there isn't going to be that many videos coming out. I do want to start making more farming sim content again, so for those of you who have uh, been following that series, that will be making a return very, very soon. But let's go ahead and upgrade our Mercedes here and see what we can actually do with this thing now there isn't a whole lot of upgrades you can do to this thing the rules of the series if you've not seen any episodes so far all the vehicles have to keep their stock drivetrain so all-wheel drive vehicles will remain all-wheel drive rear wheel all will remain rear wheel drive and front wheel drive will remain front wheel drive it's just a little rule that I've had since the start of the series. A few of you have been questioning why I have that rule. Um, basically, it's because in rally, in real life, they pit all-wheel drive vehicles against rear-wheel drive vehicles and front-wheel drive vehicles. So just look at something like the battle between the uh, Lancia 037 and the Audi Quattro. The 037 was rear-wheel drive, the Quattro was all-wheel drive. So that is why we have that rule. All the vehicles are upgraded to S1 class as well. The vehicle we have here already starts uh, all-wheel drive because it is the Forza edition. I believe the normal tank pool, the non-Forza edition, is rear-wheel drive. Uh, so we're going to leave it all-wheel drive, but you can do a conversion swap if you want. Uh, then we can go ahead and put on a big old racing wing on the back. Personally, I think the off-road tyres and stuff looks better. It does provide a little bit more downforce, but not really much. You can see there, none of the stats are actually changing. They light up green, but they're not actually changing. Um, so I'm just going to leave the tyres on there. I think it looks better. It's a bit more like off-roady. Now, we can't actually change up the tyres, but it already has the off-road racing tyre compound, which is really nice. And I'm not going to change the rims or the rim size, so that is all good. In transmission, I have already upgraded this vehicle once before. Um, not for this video, but just for my personal driving it around sort of off camera. Um, so that's why you might see that some of these are already owned. But I wanted to build the vehicle with you guys again. Uh, so you can see how I'm actually building the vehicle. We'll go with um, Rally Differential brakes we'll go full race brakes that's going to bring us up into s1 class and then engine we can go ahead and put an aftermarket turbo and we can go ahead and remove the restrictors and that's going to put us nicely um into s1 class not quite at the top of s1 class but i'm going to let it slide it's close enough um and let's actually have a little look at the stats we got 2500 horsepower absolutely insane but the thing weighs uh five and a half thousand 
uh, sorry, it weighs um, 10,000 pounds. So that's, what's that? Uh, 2,200 is a ton. So it's roughly about four tons, something like that, which is actually quite light for a big truck like this, but it has been stripped down, I guess. Um, and we've got five and a half thousand foot pounds of torque, which is just absolutely insane. Um, so I'm hoping this thing with the grip and the power is going to be an absolute monster. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of tuning and paint the vehicle and I'll see you guys at the rally course. All right, here we go in the tank pool Forza edition. Now I'm expecting this thing to be a little bit wallowy on the old uh, road section here, but as soon as we get off road, that's where I'm hoping this thing is going to come good. It should be very good through the water splashes. That was a little bit late breaking. Now hitting the fence and water splashes and stuff is not going to matter too much in the tank pool here because the weight of this thing, you saw it has 10,000 pounds of weight behind it. So it's not really going to get slowed down by all that sort of thing. But it does give us a little bit of concern when coming into the braking zones because obviously we've got to stop all of that weight a lot earlier than we would in a normal car. I've gone for the Red Bull Racing livery like we had on the Lamborghini and on the Bronco R a couple of episodes ago. I'm hoping that's going to give us all of the, uh, the look we need to beat the Lamborghini. Coming into the hairpin now, let's see what we do here. Actually a little bit of a slide, that 5,000 foot pounds of torque showing its face there. Coming into the two right handers, a little bit wide there but not terrible. The weight of this thing is forcing the wheels into the ground giving us traction and of course we've got that big old uh, 10 litre diesel engine which is actually going to give us a lot of torque as well and of course the thing is turbo which gives us even more torque now the diesel engine is kind of curious because you can't really hear it oh that's going to be a crash into the tree we'll carry on and see what kind of lap time we can put down but i think this run is probably going to be void we're up to the 153 mark there which is not terrible actually even with a smash into the tree, this thing is doing very well. Two minute mark at the top of the hill. Let's see what we can do on the run down the hill. That was a Lamborghini's time there, but very, very close. A two minute, eight second time, and that was with a crash into a tree. So, if we can keep this thing a little bit more stable through the corners, and not a crash into the tree, this thing has a very high chance of beating a Lamborghini. And on to round number two. Now, it is a little bit interesting with this diesel engine. Like I was saying in the last run, it's very difficult to hear. I'm wearing headphones, um, but even still, it's a very quiet engine and it doesn't like to rev. So you've got to change up quite early. Now, getting it slowed down for that corner, I could possibly be even earlier on the brakes in there. I'm just not used to the weight of this thing. I don't really drive big trucks like this around in Forza very often. A little bit wide on the water splash section as well, but not terrible. As long as we're hitting the checkpoints, I am happy. Slowing it down for this corner. We nearly overshot that corner. A little brush on the fence on the exit, but the weight of the truck negates anything getting slowed down there. Now, coming on to the fast straight up here, this is where the tank pool is very good. It can get the power down, which is where other vehicles struggle. They tend to be spinning the tyres quite a lot up that section, but the tank pool, not an issue. Coming into the hairpin here, I don't really know what gear I want. We've got that much torque. We can get away with a higher gear, I think. But third wasn't bad through there. Coming into the two right-handers, I'm going to slow it down earlier this time. We keep it on the track this time, that's absolutely beautiful. Now coming up the hill, again this is a section where vehicles typically spin the tyres quite a lot, but the tank pool with all its weight is getting plenty of grip and that is going to pull us through the corner nicely. Now this is where I've got to get it slowed down early for 
this corner don't crash into the tree which we don't that was absolutely beautiful through that section coming into the last couple of corners here we are doing very well i don't want to speak too soon but this is a good run although we're a little bit wide there that could have been cleaner let's see what we can do on the run down the hill that is the two minute mark is it going to beat the lamborghini's time across the line at a 204 that has beaten the lamborghini lm 002's time let's see what it is just to confirm but i believe i saw a 204 there yes 204.157 that has beaten the lamborghini lm 002 by almost a full second uh, which is absolutely insane and we've still got one more run to go i think i can be tidier but i'm very very happy we've finally beaten that lamborghini veterans of the channel hope you're happy um, but we've got one more run and we can possibly improve on that i don't think much is going to beat the tank pool uh, once we get a good run down uh, but let's see what we do in this final attempt Okay, round number three. Let's see if we can improve on 204. I'm going to try my best to keep it straight on the tarmac section here. It really hates the tarmac. Uh, we're going to get it slowed down way earlier for this first corner up here. I'm going to start braking now. And we actually ended up locking the brakes up there, so that didn't really work. I've got all of the traction control, stability control, anti-lock brakes, everything is turned off, all the driver assists, and I'm running this with a manual transmission. So I'm doing everything myself, which uh, is how I prefer to drive, but it does make controlling a beast like this quite difficult. Now let's see if we can keep the back end in check through there. That was beautiful through that corner. A little bit of lift off oversteer, but nothing terrible. Now coming onto the straight section here, I'm going to try and keep my foot in it in this corner here. I believe that the Mercedes has the grip to do it. Yes, it does. Now I think we want like third or fourth through this corner. I'm going to go third again. Last time that worked well and it works beautifully here. Coming down the straight section, the weight there means we don't take off on the jump, but nothing terrible. A little bit on the grass on there, that could have been a little bit tidier. But sometimes going on the grass there can actually be a bit of a faster line. It's getting a little bit twitchy coming up here. I'm going to keep my foot in it around that corner, absolutely beautiful. This thing has so much torque, you can drift it through the corners and it will keep the drift sliding is absolutely beautiful that is what you want for rally racing you don't want to get too much drift but when you get drifting you want it to carry on going now let's see what we can do in these last couple of corners here unfortunately i don't think we're going to beat our previous time but we've already beaten the lamborghini so i am happy and there we go across the line actually did beat our, our second time by about two tenths of a second which is absolutely insane and that is going to be our new first pay place position for the number 24 mercedes-benz tank pool forza edition but let's go to the leaderboard and actually see how this thing racks up but there we have it guys an impressive impressive showing from the mercedes tank pool my whole theory with this episode was that the weight of the vehicle pushing those off-road grippy tyres and the all-wheel drive, the whole combination of that was going to beat the Lamborghini. And thankfully it did. It's only taken us 14 episodes to beat the Lamborghini. But an impressive time there of 203.924. That is going to put the Lamborghini in a first position just ahead of the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini, sadly, it was our reigning champion for a long time, but it has been dethroned. However, I don't think there's going to be many vehicles that are going to beat our Mercedes tank pool. So if you're looking for the ultimate rally car to go driving with in Forza Horizon, then the Mercedes tank pool is the one to choose. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy if you did, be awesome if you could smash the like button and subscribe if you are new around here. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.